Coming up, Barco, seeing your audience and acting on it. You're watching YBL TV. How is Barco delivering the right message to the right audience? Well, in Barco, we have this vision about content and people, and we believe digital signage is not really about digital signage, but it's about delivering content to people. And in the perfect world, the display is not even getting noticed. It's about the message is getting noticed to the people. So we at Barco, we believe we deliver the technology as a kind of enabler to bring content to people. So you load the content into a, a cloud-based system, which we call uh, an asset manager, an X2O. Then we use the, uh, the X2O system to schedule and to put rules to the system and so on. Then we distribute it to the different locations, and then we display it on the displays. And we capture data so that we know that we're doing the right thing. So it's not about having content on one side and pushing it to the audience. It's more like the audience is requesting the right content. So even when we are here together standing, we are getting noticed by our sensors. So it knows that we are with the two of us here. And it knows there are two people. There's a female, there's a male. And we are about well, 25, 30, 50. <laughs> so it knows that, that we are two people here. It's a male and a female, our age group. So it already adapts the content around us without us even interacting with the screen. But you can also apply the same principle to a retail store, for example. If you say, okay, we measure how many people are passing by the store, we are measuring how many people we get inside the store, so we can measure the percentage of people coming in, which we call the footfall. And if we then change our shopping window, the, shipping, the, the display in the shop, and the footfall goes down, we know that that campaign is not very successful, and we can measure it, we can really prove it. So if you do that a couple of times, you know up front already what's going to work and what not. And once the people get inside, most of the shops, they have a counter. So they know, well, there's 1,000 people coming inside the shop every day. We have a cash, uh, cash register and we know how many sales we do when we get that 1,000 people in. But we don't actually know what's happening when they are in the shop. We know they come in, but what happens after, we don't know. So are they going right? Are they going left? Are they going straight in? So with our system, we can see how people move inside the store. So we know what are the hotspots. So why we have to put the high margin items. We know where to put the displays to be most effective in the communication. If you have the app of that store in your, on your phone, it's getting detected via beacons and background services on your phone. So we're not going to push any messages to the phone. We only know, ah, this guy is back. And it only gets more interesting if you combine it over multiple stores. So you can correlate that data. You can see, well, this campaign works from this shop, but it didn't work on that shop. The larger your network of shops, the more data you gather and the more accurate you can predict how people will react on, on campaigns. We call it Barco's IDN. So it's an intelligent display network. So we really try to see what is the audience today? What do we have in stock in terms of communication, in terms of media assets? And what is the asset that fits the best with what I have in front of my display right now? And it all goes by itself, all based on rules. So every asset that you load into the system, you say, okay, this is an asset for this kind of person. Uh, we display it only when it's raining, or only when it's sun, or only in the morning, or only in the afternoon, or we link it to that or this. So it's a very powerful system to really focus on who is in front of your display without being pushy. Because if you start being pushy, then people will, 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 yeah, will turn away.